Yeah. So what is up you guys, I am out here once again working on my T40, uh, trying to make a little bit more progress. And in this video, I'm going to try and be tackling a lot. So what I'm trying to do today in this video, well not today, it's probably going to be a multiple day process, um, is definitely tuck my wiring harness. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do, and especially after I got the tube front done, like before I got the tube front I was wanting to do this, but now that I have the tube front done on my car, it's definitely something I really feel like I have to do because um, I'm shooting to have my car like look aesthetically like pleasing and everything like that. I want to have everything painted, engine bay also. And uh, to do that, I want the engine bay to be really clean. I don't want to just like freshen up the engine bay and there be a harness like everywhere. Like all the wires are going everywhere and it looks like a rat's nest and stuff like that in the engine bay. So uh, yeah. That's gonna be the whole gist of this video, is I want to go into full detail on how I do this wiring harness, because I've never done it before, and I've also been on YouTube a shit ton looking for like how people did their wiring harnesses, just so I could see and get a visual of like where they sort of looped it at, like if they pulled it all the way out, if they just like sort of cut it and stuffed it back into the dash, or what all they did, and it's really like frustrating when there's like barely any like really really in detail videos of how to do a wiring harness for an S13. I've noticed that there's a lot of S14 wiring harness videos but I've never really seen like I've never really seen a lot of S13 like really full in depth videos. I think the the best one I've seen so far is from a channel called Sperda. I think that's how you pronounce their channel but he had an S13 and they did it on his car but they didn't really go like like show like little holes that they probably looped the freaking wires through even though there's like only like two holes that the wiring harness goes through on both sides of the car but uh just like little stuff like i want to make a whole video of me figuring it out and it's gonna be a freaking handful for me because i hate dealing with wires in general and uh so i'm there's probably gonna be a lot of mistakes in this video so if you guys are gonna try and mimic me and how i do my wiring harness Definitely wait till the end of the video because I don't want you guys to start like doing something and then find out later in the video like, oh, I fucked up, I gotta go do this. Uh, I'm gonna try and share with you guys all the experience that like I freaking had with this car. So uh, bear with me. But yeah, you guys, that's the whole gist of this video. I wanna get the whole wiring harness tucked and back into the car. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. All right, so here she is. Um, as you see, there's a nice glossy finish on the hood because it is sprinkling right now. Oh, I don't know what, what it is with like the weather, but I've been trying to start this video for the past like two weeks now, and the main day I have to really work on it is like Saturdays. Well, I like to work on cars on Saturdays and Sundays, sort of like chill day, but it hasn't been that way lately. Because each Saturday it seems like it wants to start raining and uh, the weather just gets in the way, and I no longer like I'm working in a shop as I have in other videos. Um, I'm sort of just like working on it at my parents' house and I'm trying to do it right here on the driveway. And yeah, I literally came outside to start working on it and it started to sprinkle like immediately. It's not raining right now, but it's been off and on and it's been the same way for like the past two weekends. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do right now is definitely pull this up. Uh, I want to pull my fenders off. So both fenders come off, my bumper's already off, thanks God. And then I want to pull, since I since I have my like radiator support that can come out, I'm going to pull that out too. So that's going to be the only difference in this video is that I have a tube front and you guys don't. But the tube front shouldn't really affect like how you guys are going to do your, your uh, harness either. Like you guys are going to have to pull a lot of shit out on the front end just to get the wires to go through and stuff like that too. Um, so that's the only big difference is just the upper part, which there isn't a lot going on except for... I just need my headlights so the only wires I need up front are my headlights and then my fans that's about it so which should be somewhat the same thing I'm, I don't got AC and all that wiring mess and uh, I don't know I don't know really a lot of the other wires that go up front but yeah those are like the main three things fans and two headlights so yeah I'm about to pull the fenders off and I'm gonna try and get my radiator support out and then after that I could start 
maybe unplugging shit and then sort of tackling it that way. Hey guys, so I got the fenders off and the radiator support with the headlights because they're all connected. And uh, this is what the car looks like now. Uh, I could take the bash bar off if I wanted to, which is pull this whole front end off, but I really don't need that done, I don't think. So, because as you see, the harness sort of just loops right here in the front, and I can just pull it right out around the uh, radiator and whatnot. So, um, since I'm still sort of just tackling this step by step and I have no clue what I'm doing, I guess I'll just like legit just start undoing my harness like as if I were to take the engine out and uh, then I could like better see what all needs to be unplugged and stuff. But yeah, I guess I'm going to start unplugging wires and stuff. Uh, so for me, that's just going to be like injectors and all of the electronics like mass airflow, coil, Basically all the wires that go around the whole engine, it wraps or usually wraps around this way. And you just like, what I like to do is just start up here, unplug, 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 and just like, you sort of see everything that needs to be unplugged and you just go around the engine, just unplug shit. And then it's like a little strip that you can just pull and then it's like, boom, you have your whole harness like right there in your hand. So that's what I'm about to do right now, just start unplugging stuff and uh, yeah. All right, you guys, so now what I'm gonna do is, so I have this harness right here, and I'm going to just like start unclipping all these like zip ties and stuff, just loosen everything up. All right, you guys, so I have all these uh, T40 bolts on the ground, zip ties, and uh, I have made a decent bit of progress today. So, so yeah, let's go over it. All right, so I got the, harness basically it's pretty loosened up i just got this one right here it's connected right there um gotta fix that it's the ground and then i got the whole rat's nest over here as you may see it's a lot loosened up it used to be all like snug tied up in there so that my wheel wouldn't hit it whenever i'm drifting the whole front end's loose there's nothing on the engine like injectors all that stuff all the wires that's all done taken care of so which that's all right here. I have all that done. I'm gonna make this my safe point and then I'll come back to it uh, the next day. All right, you guys, so we're picking up the next day and uh, I guess right now we're gonna start with, I'm gonna put the camera right fast. Right now I'm just gonna end up unlooming everything right here and then, yeah, I guess I can just start looking at how I'm gonna fish things through. Probably start pulling a little bit of the interior part just so everything slides together or slides through easily. But yeah, that's what it's looking like right now, you guys. Alright, you guys, so I have a good bit of it like deloomed. I didn't take all like the electrical tape off and stuff, just like the main plasticky stuff uh, just because I'm going to try and put some new fresh loom wire loom on there but okay so this is what I'm thinking I'm doing instead of just straight up saying fuck it and cutting it right here on both sides I'm going to try and take the dash off which is something I really did not want to do but after consulting my father um he made a joke about my cracks up here on my crack dash and I'm thinking I'm gonna pull it out and since I have it out to do the wire tuck uh, I'll just I really want to flock my dash so uh, that basically gives it like a suede finish and stuff 
So I think I'm gonna go that route, just pull the dash anyway, and then while it's out, I can do my dash repair and stuff like that. So, and it'll make the wire tuck like I'll have more options for the wire tuck. I'll be able to actually see underneath the dash and see how the wires go, and it should make pulling the wires through a lot easier and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, not too happy about pulling it. It's a little adding to the workload, but fuck it, I'm about to start sending it, I guess. And doing so, I guess I'm gonna start pulling up. The interior pieces inside the 240 both sides and then um i'll probably just plug a video that i watched on how to pull the dash because i don't want to go over it but yeah about to start getting on it Alright you guys, so it's going pretty good. Uh, the dash part of the things, uh, yeah. Uh, I just got that out. Uh, it took less than an hour. Um, just literally started unbolting stuff and I'm gonna plug the video. I think his name is J Ream Garage, but he had a pretty decent video on like steps to do uh, and how to pull it out. So yeah, pulling the dash is like a whole other thing. So yeah i'm just gonna let him explain that in his video so go check him out but yeah i got the dash out this is my first time ever pulling a dash my car's actually starting to look like a real 240 now so yeah here it is over here so it's pretty dirty uh but yeah i got like major cracks like right there that big old crack right there so dash is out now i can move forward with the wiring harness so I get to look up under here and everything and try and figure all this wiring stuff out. So, yeah, I'm going to get to that and then I'll pick back up with you guys. Alright you guys, so I'm going to attempt to take the harness out now. It looks a lot more simple. Now that I've actually like took a little bit of time to like look at it inside the car and outside. Um, so, on the outside, what you're going to want to do is, for the S13, down here where the uh, fuse box is on the passenger side, there's gonna be all these connectors that go to the harness that's like on the bottom side of the motor that goes to like the alternator, the starter, all that type of stuff. Um, so it's only like four, looks like four plugs right here. Just unplug those and then this should separate the whole outside part of the harness from like everything else. That's what you gotta have ready for the outside. And the way this harness is coming out is it's gonna come out the car this way. So it's coming out through the front of the car. It's not gonna go back into the car. And then, over here on the driver's side, you have this little plug that's like right there. That white looking plug with the, the bolt sticking out of it. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. So that one right there. And you're gonna wanna screw that most likely because it looks like it's connected to the one that's coming out the grommet, which the grommet is right there. If you can see that air poking out, I'm not sure if you can, but there's air back there behind it so you're gonna definitely unplug that like uh i guess plug that huge one the white one and then the harness looks like it wraps around up top of the actual like steering column up here it goes behind this thick harness right here and it wraps under and comes around through the bottom of the steering column which is like right here and stuff and then you'll want to unplug all these steering column plugs which looks like to be all the plugs for the harness and then after that you're able to just fit that huge plug that white one and then you can fit all the rest of this and the harness should come out on both sides so i'm going to attempt that right now um so bear with me and hopefully it works the first try i uh, like that the passenger side is out all the way Oh, apparently it's just this one, uh, this little strand of two plugs 
that um, we had running through the uh, passenger side, like the wheel area, sort of similar to the driver's side. So I didn't even have to touch this grommet right here, which was like the fuel injectors and all that stuff. So that's really awesome that that just stays right there. Like I don't have to mess with it. So yeah, I just come over here. I got the whole passenger side out. Now I'm about to tackle the driver's side, which is that big white plug and then the steering column stuff. So. All right, you guys, so this is going a lot easier than what I thought it was going to go. I have the whole freaking harness out. It's awesome. So, as you see, from start to finish, it's all out. Uh, it was a lot simpler. So, basically, as you see, this is the grommet from the wheel well and going into it all you have is that big white plug that i told you guys about and you got those little plugs and these are the plugs that go underneath the steering column which yeah it's not too bad so uh just had to like cut some like zip tie thingies just like stuff that fastened the harness in there and just maneuvered it out and uh that's all it was on this side and then you come to this side and i know i had, I had messed with my harness a little bit on this side prior to doing this um but yeah all i had to do on this side was literally just the grommet and these weren't even plugged in because i messed with it prior so those are already ready to get pulled out so that's like all it was inside the car and to pull out the harness which was hella simple um to be honest i don't even know if i really needed to pull the dash out uh oh yeah i guess i did because i did have to like mess with it like right up here so because this harness comes in through down here and then it loops up all the way to the top if it wasn't like if it didn't loop all the way up to the top then yeah this would be a dashless like thing like you can just freaking pull the freaking harness out without one dash and it would be super simple but yeah they had to make it complicated for us but yeah, that's all you really had to do to get it out. But yeah, that's all you really had to do to get the harness out. I guess I will, I'm thinking about making this a part one and part two video. Uh, so this is getting the harness out. Now I might do the next video to where it's uh, me putting the harness back into the car, but the way I want it to be, cutting and splicing things and all that stuff. That's if this is like a really long video. If not, then I guess you'll just see me in the next second. So yeah. But if this is a part one video, then I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys stick around for the part two video. Uh, whenever that gets released so if so then i hope you guys enjoyed it please do like and subscribe you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video so later you guys